Hambini fans and welcome to another episode of Fresh Out of Guantanamo. In today's episode, we've got this, which is a Canyon CF SLX. It arrived here for a new bottom bracket and it actually came directly from Canyon after they refused a warranty. The owner had this bike for a couple of years and he'd gone through bottom brackets pretty quickly. And then on his last you know, change, he spotted a fault with it. Basically, one end bottom bracket was falling out. Uh, so he sent it off to Canyon for a warranty um, and they refused on the basis that he hadn't maintained it properly. Uh, he asked them to send it to me for a new bottom bracket. Um, but before we even got there, we did the assessment and this is what we found. This is a Carbon CF SLX model. It is one of the disc brake models, so it's a slightly newer version. It's a size 2XL, so it is massive. This is the non-drive side bottom bracket. So this is a go, no go gauge. The go goes in. So does the no go. This is the drive side, the no go definitely won't go in, it's rocking there. The go goes in ever so slightly, only a little fraction. Interestingly, on this side, you can see the banding where the fibers went in, that is highly unusual. So the hole on this side is tapered. Um, I know that from checking it before I got to this video. There are a few ways of showing that. One way is by using a vernier, it's not that accurate. You could use a stick mic, um, but in this case, I'm gonna show you using a three-point bore mic. So there's a bit of taper on the hole, but it's also locally, let's say shrunk, so it's oval. So the easy way to do this is to put it in. So you've got it, so it's slightly tight. And then turn it. Don't turn the dial, just turn the entire object. And then you get to that point, it'll no longer turn. But I can turn it back. So it shows the hole is not round. I mean, it's locked up there again. To get an idea of the size, you can do the same procedure and then turn it until it locks, which is that, then pull it out. So we know the size is under 4.94. Um, bear in mind, this is a three point measurement, so it will always give you a slightly bigger size than the actual hole. This is a stick mic set. So you use that and these extensions so you can take this one out and then put a bigger extension in. Obviously, if it's a bigger hole, in this case, you wouldn't need to. This is prone to user or operator error, so I wouldn't recommend this unless you're experienced. There's also an issue with the size of the stick mic. If you've got a 45 or 40 mil hole, your stick might not be small enough. Uh, typically they start off at about 50 is a comfortable size, 50 mil. Some of them start off at uh, 25 mil or an inch. Similar kind of thing, this is a bore mic set. Um, you've got this sort of electronic controller or display up here and then a series of plungers to push down and then in there you can put effectively a stick in. I hate using this to be honest because it's, it's on a bottom bracket it's prone to error because you've got you know that much handle to put into a hole that's only that big. It's designed for like a cylinder inside a car. Now, the guy wanted a bottom bracket to go from his undersized side to his oversized side, but I told him that wasn't a great idea. And the reason for that is here, there is a crack. So you can see it starts there and then it ends there. We'll zoom in so you can see it a bit better. So, Starts there, goes there. You see the paintwork's bubbled slightly. Now, it's obvious to the naked eye, even without my glasses on, that that is a crack. 
So in here, this is the inside with the uh, gear cover taken off, there's a white line which is here. This side and this side has a joint here and that crack is just there and then goes along there. So most metals and carbon fiber is very good or are very good in tension. So this piece of paper represents a fiber. If you try and pull it, it's strong in tension. However, in compression, it tends to buckle. And that's what happens in that bike frame. So it's a thin section. As you apply compressive pressure, it buckles. And if you do it, you know, hard enough, I mean, this is flexible, it will just crack. And that's what's happened. The crack is not the failure mode. The crack is the symptom. And I think that has been caused by the undersized side of the bike frame. So we've got one size that's, side that's undersized and one side that's oversized. When you press the bottom bracket in, the oversized one will just clamp up flat with no resistance. The undersized one, because it is so heavily undersized, will start to develop quite a lot of stress. And where there's no material, which is where the gear cable guide goes, um, you build up stress and it always goes at a joint, which is here. And I think that's what's caused it. So undersized bottom bracket, I mean, it is heavily undersized at the pinch point. Now, Canyon are on a bit of dodgy ground here because there's a few issues. The first is around the bottom bracket. So obviously one side is completely slack. That amount of slackness, which is like 0 0.25, 0 0.3 millimeter, is unlikely to occur if you fit a, a plastic bottom bracket, which is what the guy did. Plastic is softer than the carbon, so the plastic should wear out. I think it was defective from new. Now, on the undersized bottom bracket, Canyon could argue that you know, it's within their tolerances and then it goes down to sound engineering practice. So they've probably got a tolerance and it might be, I don't know, 40.90 to 41. Uh, but there will also be a deviation in the hole size in there. And this deviation, in my humble engineering opinion, is too much. The scandalous part of all of this is that crack. I mean, that is just a joke. Canyon didn't notify the rider. I mean, that crack's only going to get bigger. Um, they probably should have done. And now probably questions are going to be asked about their, their customer service and their warranty department because they, they basically sent a frame out, denied the warranty, which I guess they're entitled to, but they may want to re, you know, reconsider that decision. Uh, but let the rider, you know, potentially ride it at high speed and then the crack gets bigger and then, you know, an accident occurs. Um, he's fortunate that he's not going to ride it, but he's now got a very strong case for a, a claim. If you did enjoy this video, remember to smash that like button. If you didn't, go screw yourself. And as always, keep banging your hairdresser.